So today I thought, you know what, I wanted to see how Fat Fab Feminist was doing. Just thought I'd check in, you know, she is one of my favorite. So let's just check her out. This is what bothers me about fat phobes, because literally, what are you talking about? This person... Okay, so the message is, I know damn well you smell musty because of all that dirt building up under your body fat crevices, which, I mean, is wrong to say, but it's the truth. I mean, that is if you're Amberlynn Reed, though. I mean, if you don't shower regularly or take care of yourself, then, yeah, I, I mean... Okay, so they retort with, actually, I do own soap, so that is not the case. It's okay, I lied too. We all know damn well something. You ate the soap, girl, don't lie. Does that insult make sense to you? Mmm, I mean, yeah. Person makes you know the comment that basically I'm so fat I smell bad. Okay, so here's the thing with that. I, uh, I don't think she personally smells bad. But it's not the first time I would see an obese person that smells. Because sometimes I have seen it before, I'm just saying. From my personal experiences, if you don't take care of your hygiene, you there is a difference. Yes, you're bigger. You're going to have a lot more things that are, you know, when you sweat, when you move, when you do anything. And yeah, it's going to be more than a thin person would be would deal with. And that's just the truth because I have dealt with it myself. You know, I've lost the weight, but not all of it, but still, I have had those problems in the past. It is the truth. I mean, that is unless you regularly take care of yourself, which some people who are obese deal with depression and anxiety, and that's just comp. That's very common. And it, that just, you know, and sometimes when you're in that depressed state, you don't take care of yourself. And that is also common. But, I mean, I don't agree with this. I don't know if it was... A message or whatever but I mean obviously they shouldn't have sent that to her or said it but of course she's gonna make a big deal out of it so let's just hear what she has to say makes you know the comments that basically I'm fat so I smell bad and I'm like mm, I own soap so no because literally as a fat person one of my biggest fears is smelling bad so I'm meticulous about making sure that's not the case anyways she says we know damn well you ate that shit what are you what are you talking about what are you talking about? Girl, we know what they're talking about. You're like the only one who does it. I say, huh? She goes, you ate the soap. Girl, please, please, what what are you saying? Like, you fat phobes don't make any sense. What are you? You don't make any sense. Your whole account does not make sense. And I'm not saying you deserve what this person said. I'm not saying that's right to call out these people and hurt them purposely. But this is, you've done this to yourself. People get frustrated after seeing this too much, and they're going to say something. You can't expect people to always be nice, especially on social media. Come on, you've been on here long enough. We all have. At this point, you should know better. Your account is not a safe space unless you make it private. It's not, it, it, you want it, though. You want people to see it, though. And I'm sure that's for the other people who agree with you, but every that means other people. Everyone is going to see it. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. I mean, well, never mind. It's just, it doesn't, your whole account doesn't make sense. And while I don't condone bullying, this person is probably just fed up with seeing you constantly lie and misinform other people about this being okay when it's not talking about you see a fat person and you're like uh oh, gonna gonna make them feel bad for being fat gonna gonna call them sm you try to purposely make other people feel bad for being thin which that's just not gonna happen but you do you try to call them out on bs which when there is none basically you're you're doing this to yourself. You're just like Amberlynn Reed. You have done this to yourself. And it's social media, so you're going to get hate comments no matter if you're right or wrong. That's just part of it. Ellie, that'll get them. And when I'm like, no. You're like, that bitch eats anything. She, she eats soap. I mean, I'm not saying you eat soap, but you do eat a lot. That's obvious. Like, oh my god, if you're going to be mean to me, be mean to me properly. That's lame. Lying to fat people are the reason for world hunger? Isn't it? 
World hunger is an issue, and tons of fun here has the nerve to call other people. Oh my god. Same take. Because if you really cared about world hunger, you'd be talking about the fact that we make enough food. We produce enough food to feed the world. We currently produce enough food to feed 10 billion people, and there's only 7.5 billion people in the world. I promise you, fat people eating more is not the reason that millions and millions of people go hungry every year. That is a... Yeah, but it doesn't help them make the... It doesn't help them feel better. It definitely doesn't. Knowing that you're a glutton and you're selfish... And that you stuff your face constantly when other people are barely making it by and have, well, have to eat the same thing they've been eating over the past week. I've lived on ramen noodles before because that's all we could afford. It's it's real. It happens. People struggle out there. And yes, it does make them furious to see someone like you bragging about the food you eat and all of that other stuff. And seeing that you do eat food, it is obvious we have eyes. That's not it. You, you're not helping by posting this. What are you doing? You're ruining your life. Surely systemic issue. Something I'm sure contributes to that issue is the amount of food waste that is happening in the United States. Americans waste billions of pounds of food. Like as much. Why is she the one telling this? Like I, she is the last person who should be saying anything. Just forty percent of the food supply is wasted. Waste forty percent. Billions of You've never wasted food. Never. Never? Are you well obviously maybe not, but still, come on. Oh my god. Pounds of food is wasted. People are not eating it. It is going in the trash. No one is eating it. Let me make one thing so clear. World hunger is necessary. There is no reason why people should be going hungry in twenty twenty two. Because people want money. Okay, they're not gonna just give their food away. They want money for it. That that's just never going to happen. So just pull your head out of your ass and, like, come on. Are you... Yeah, you can't be that... Mm. We have the capability to feed everyone. It is a systemic governmental failure that then people... Why don't you start feeding everybody? Take some food off your table. You can afford it. Go ahead. I, we don't mind. Go ahead. Love to see it. Going hungry right now. Fat people are not the reason for world hunger. All lies with governments and systemic failure. But it doesn't help seeing you. You are you are the last person who should be talking about this. People want me to be embarrassed or ashamed. How are you not embarrassed? All right. Or like ask for forgiveness for the audacity of being fat. You know, people want me to feel bad that I'm fat. You want me to be embarrassed. I don't think it's that. It's the fact that you're purposely telling people that this is a good thing, that the, it's okay to be fat, that it's not going to harm you, your health, uh, that your life expects expectancy. You're, it's, and we've seen this time and time again with this community, and not just with the community, but with you personally. And yeah, I, I'm asking the same thing. How are you not embarrassed? Not about the fat, but that your whole account is based on it's okay to be fat. Embarrassed that I'm fat, but I'm not. I know that y'all cannot fathom. I just noticed at the bottom, bottom it says, I'm happy with myself. Can you say the same? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Being fat and happy in your body. But I'm also not dealing with the same shit you're dealing with. I'm actually doing the right thing. Like, I... Like, <clears throat> okay. But I am. Like, I am so... Good. I am so happy. I am so content. I am great with my body. I if that were the case, you wouldn't have to be putting up videos all the time about how great you are with your body. Because obviously that means you do you do feel a little bit self-conscious. That's, that, I feel like that's just obvious. And you want other people's opinion. And you want them to say, oh no, you're so beautiful and you're so perfect the way you are and all that other magical shit. No. When there's people out there who know the truth and that you are lying. Yeah, no. I don't have an issue with myself at all. The issue that I have is the way y'all treat me and other fat people. Because you think that our body size gives you free reign to be deplorable. Y'all don't have an ounce of empathy for fat people. You don't see... That's okay, though. That's okay. Not all fat people, but... You and some other people who like to post in this community, yeah, yeah, it does make us a little miffed watching you. Because we all know how you think. We already know who you are and what you believe in. Like, we already know, and you're, 
You're not, you're not helping it. Trust me, you're not helping it. Yes, as human being. The comments that I receive, the way people treat me and other fat people is disgusting. I have nothing to be embarrassed about. Y'all on the other hand, one of the absolute best part. Being fat is great because it gets these kind of people to leave me alone. Oh, oh no, somebody needs help bad about being fat is being able to see people's characters immediately when you meet them it truly feels like a superpower on my end because i am no girl no that's not what it is i i don't i don't feel that way that's how it is or that that's just my opinion but you're not good at reading people you're good at saying the obvious which is which is what people probably think when they see you. Because, I mean, at this point, a lot of people should know who you are. If they don't, you know, it's not like a big deal or anything. But you also come off as, you, you really don't have the greatest attitude. You, you're automatically coming off as being so proud of yourself for absolutely no reason. And obviously, that's going to give other people a bad vibe about you. So, I mean... Go ahead. Frank. So good at reading who is a good person and who is a bad person. Who is a person I want to associate with based on how they treat me, based on the way they look at me, based on the way that they talk to me. Because why would I want to associate with you, someone who is so clearly full of malice and hate and judges people based simply on the way they look? You do. You do. You. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Oh, I might have to stop soon. I can feel my chest hurting. Damn. I don't want to associate with someone like that. Because when I decide who I want to be friends with, who I want to associate with, what's most important to me is their character. Whether or not they're a good person, whether or not they're kind, whether or not they care about other people, whether or not they have empathy. And it is so... You should be asking yourself all of this. You put down people for being thin. <laughs> wow, 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 wow clear from the lack of humanity that y'all have and the way you dismiss people just for their appearance it's very clear that you're not the type of person i would want to associate with hey same here same here girl if you're someone who wants to associate with me i will not associate with you if you're fat ew you're fat i don't want to associate with you okay i i didn't want to associate with you. okay i i mean that's that girl's opinion that's not everybody's opinion and not only that it has nothing to do with your weight it has everything to do with your character and i can already tell you're not a nice person because you probably are the type of person who automatically comes off as being rude just because you're expecting that kind of you know whatever from whoever you're around and it's no, girl, you're you are you're just talking to yourself, really. And I mean, obviously, there are people who follow her who actually believe in this shit, because you know, whatever. But you're only hurting yourself in the long run. You're not going to change the world with this shit. You you're just hurting yourself. That's it. You to begin with, so we're, we're good. Did you hear me? I said you're fat. You can do something about it, and you're fat, and that's bad. I don't want to associate with you for fat because who you associate with matters. But like like I said, I I mean, yeah, it kind of does. Um, you know, because uh, have you ever heard of the saying, if you sleep with dogs, you'll get fleas? I mean, some people, it does matter, you know, because then people know who you are and not saying about your looks. But some people don't have the good best intentions. Let's just say that when you're hanging out with them. But <sighs> I, you take so much so seriously when it comes to this and it's just not necessary. You're not going to change the world, girl. You're just not. Nobody. This is common sense, though. This is literally common sense you're trying to fight, and it's just not going to happen. I have no interest in associating with you to begin with, so we're good. We don't need to associate with each other. The reason I'm not associating with you is because who you associate yourself with matters. And if you're fat, then maybe I'll become fat by being your friend. And God forbid. It actually has happened. Yes. Eating habits can rub off real quick, real easily, when you're hanging out with a person, and that's the only person you're hanging out. Yeah, it can. It will. Mm -hmm. I've seen it too many times, not just on YouTube or whatever. It's happened in my life. I know. It's, it's, girl! I become fat because then who would care about me? <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, it sounds like you have some stuff to back there. Have fun with whoever is worthy of associating with you. So today I saw some kids I went to high school with. And that really reminded me that you don't have to lose weight 
to glow up. Like, this was me in high school. I look the same, but also so different. The Do you? So cold that a side part had on me until, like, two years ago. Oh, my God. But you could not tell me shit. Like, I love the old version of me. I have so much empathy for her. But personally, I think I look a lot better now. And honestly, I'm significant. That, that's all opinion. That's all opinion. That's your opinion. That's not my opinion. I'm bigger now than I was in that picture. But I'm a completely different human being now. I know how to dress myself. I know how to do my makeup. I know how to carry myself. I feel confident. Like, I can't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You wouldn't be posting all these stupid videos if you felt that confident because you wouldn't feel the need to search for, you know, compliments. This is just... I even show you guys other pictures because I don't have any. Back then, I hated myself so much, I didn't even take pictures. I would hide my body at every chance I got. Literally, the only reason I had that picture is because it was a haircut picture. That was it. Whether or not you think I look better or not, doesn't matter. Because I may be fatter, but I'm happier and hotter as well. No, you're not. And it's obvious. Sick of skinny people taking plus size items. I'm gonna start taking their straight size sweaters and wearing them as crop tops. <laughs> what? This is a large from Urban Outfitters. Nowhere is safe from the fatties now. Are you. S <laughs> what? Oh my god. I think a really integral part of being happy is unlearning the fat phobia. That's oh, yes. Please tell me how to be happy, fat, fat feminist. Please teach me. I need it so bad. Society has taught us. It was mandatory for me as a fat person. Personally, after spending over a decade and a half yo-yo dieting, I came to the conclusion that either I was going to spend the rest of my life hating my body, hating myself, being on diet, or I would just accept the body that I was in and try to be happy. I did not come to the realization that I did and decided to unlearn the fat phobic ideas that I had been taught since I was a child, there would have been no opportunity for me to feel any type of joy in my life. Because I thought about my body all the time. I was miserable. You still do. I didn't think that fat people were allowed to just exist and be happy. I didn't I'm know sorry. that I was allowed to just be. I thought in order to have a joyful, happy life, I had to be thin. And no one... It's not just being about thin, it's about your health. Your health. You're killing yourself. Told me that wasn't the case. I think really and yes, it does affect you mentally. Okay, y'all. I gotta take a break. I feel like I'm gonna go nuts in a minute. She has officially stirred me up, so I gotta go do something. Have a good day.